Hi, I'm Mark Wade and welcome back to Mark My Words. Step 9 in my 10 bold steps to overcoming a setback is Don't look back. You know, in my past, I have a lot of fantastic memories of family time, travel, children growing up, etc. Um, just some wonderful memories. There's also in that in those in that past, obviously, some painful times as well. Just like I'm sure it's the same with you. But to rebuild and to recover from your setback, what I learned was I had to spend some intentional time, quality time each day, thinking about what my future looked like and making a decision not to be be drawn into the past and what I've lost in the past and memories of the past. To rebuild just for a season, you've got to really focus on your future and be intentional around it, be disciplined around it. Spend some specific time each day thinking about what your future will look like. And you know, dream big because you know if you can do it once, you can do it again. To, to, to recover and to rebuild, you can build a life that has more of an influence, more of an impact, and more affluence than you had prior to your setback. That's certainly been the case for me, but it's been intentionally planned that way. I had to think about it and, and, and hope for it and believe for it, not really knowing how it was gonna happen, but I had the dream, I had the hope, I had the aspiration for it. And you know, what you think about, you bring about. So what ha happens is when you spend time thinking about what it is you want, it's amazing how things start to line up and you start to attract those very things into your life. Relationships, people, you know, things that you need to make your dreams and goals become a reality. And that, then ultimately, you'll find that you'll start to gain some confidence and some strength about in rebuilding and you then start to feel as if you can help some other people overcome their setback and that's where I think the true quality of life is it's in helping other people it's in add adding value to other people's lives because the truth is there are many people out there that are really struggling with a setback of, of whatever type it could be relational it could be financial it could be something else with their health but regardless you get through your setback and you rebuild, you can then have the qualifications, if you like, to help and inspire and encourage other people out there who are going through their setback and you can help them overcome theirs. And that's where all of a sudden your life takes on a whole new meaning and a whole new level of importance and you'll have people that are just blown away by the help that you've been able to supply them with simply because you decided to get up off the canvas and focus on a better tomorrow not to be drawn to in the past but focus on tomorrow you rebuild you re-establish and you'll find that your comeback is inspiring not just to yourself and for your own family but to all those around you and uh, you'll start to find opportunities then to encourage and inspire and uplift other people who are going through similar things to help them get through theirs. And that's what it's about. Don't look back, focus forward, rebuild. You can do it. I don't care what you've been through, you can overcome and become something greater, something bigger, something better beyond your current setback. And something that you've probably never dreamed about can happen in your life. And if you just stay positive and stay optimistic and stay thinking about what you want, those very things will be drawn to you, I guarantee it. That's step nine. Up next is step 10. We'll see you then.